Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome to another video where I'm going to read every house this time. So I'm not going to read every sign. We're going to do this per house. And we're going to take a look at a very tiny aspect of Saturn. So what is the tiny aspect of Saturn that I want to take a look at? And where did this come about? from this this concept of preservation well i was watching those of you who have been watching over the last few weeks you know that i am currently addicted to watching either shark tank or dragon's den i'm just so into it and the other day i was watching an episode where the entrepreneur was launching i think it was a brownie product in the supermarkets and they were explaining that well my brownie product has no preservatives, no nasties, nothing bad, right? And the shelf life of this product was quite small. Uh, it, she had some techniques with the packaging to extend the shelf life of the product. And that was pretty clever, but she really didn't want any preservative product in her brownie mixture which is great. Like I, I like natural food as much as possible as well. But that episode and watching them discuss this concept of shelf life and preservatives, it got me thinking about astrology because I'm always thinking about astrology and I'm always thinking like, okay, how does this work astrologically? And I started thinking about what is a preserver? What, what preserves things? And when I thought quite deeply about it, I was like, it is Saturn. Saturn is the preserver. Saturn will also sustain things. Saturn will keep you going for a long time. <clears throat> so we can definitely look at Saturn in this way, that Saturn is the tiny little bit of, you know, 1% preservative that they put into a food product that will sustain the shelf life of the product. They're also doing it in makeup as well. I was just watching a video about someone's really not happy with their Chanel makeup and I was just watching a video about that. Very random viewing, I know. I watch weird stuff. Anyway, there was a comment there that said, um, you know, something about, you know, I like preservatives in my makeup products because I don't want to keep buying these products, you know, every day couple of months I, I like to this lady was sort of saying I don't I don't wear foundation or buy that product but she was saying with her foundation she's like I like it to last a long time I want there to be a little bit of preservative in there isn't that interesting so I started thinking about okay well how does this preservative effect work in a chart and how does it work how does it work in my chart how does it work in your chart why don't we take a look so that's what we're going to do in this episode and I think we're just going to get straight in. Let's have a look at Saturn in the first house. So for this episode, oh, hang on a minute. I don't want to record just yet. I'm just getting my, I've got my iPad, guys. You might be wondering, what is she doing? I've got my iPad. We're going to draw. And I have no notes. I'm going to pull this straight out of my head. I'm going to channel direct from Saturn. Please be with me, Saturn. Help me out here. I need you in this video. I had no time to prepare in advance, uh, but I wanted to have a video out to you because uh, it's been a while. So I'll hit record. For this episode, you are going to need to know where is Saturn? In which house does your Saturn sit? Okay, and you can look at this for your life. For D1, you can see which house does your Saturn sit in. You can have a look at it for D9. That's your internal self even your future self could be your partner we can interpret d9 in a variety of ways uh, it could be d10 you have a look at you know in your career what is being preserved or sustained or where, where is the shelf life being enhanced and you'll want to take a look at this via sidereal vedic astrology okay some of you have been looking up your chart in tropical vedic astrology software or programs or so that that's not going to work here for vlc channel we're always doing sidereal vedic here so look up sidereal vedic your placement where is your saturn sitting and let's get into it so we're going to have a look at pretty sure that's recording yes it is uh, we're going to have a look at the first house 
first house. So let's say you've got Saturn seated here in the first house. Okay. And will I look at aspects and things like that? I mean, we've got Saturn aspecting your third, your seventh, your tenth. We could look at those, but I think what I'd like to do, I just want to keep it really simple for this episode. And I think let's just look at where Saturn seated in the house. What's it preserving? Okay, what, what, what is it extending the shelf life of? So for when Saturn is here in the first house of physical body, Saturn is quite literally going to preserve the shelf life of your physical body. He's going to extend your life here. He's going to make you live for a long time. Okay, so that is definitely one of the features of uh, this Saturn placement. He could also give you the kind of physical energy where you like to do things like you like to do, like rather than running a sprint, you'd rather run a marathon. Okay, so you might have that physical energy, which is kind of it's a it's a the, the burn is not as high but it goes over a long period of time okay so I, I i like this kind of thing actually i relate to this i do i've sat in aspecting uh my first and lording my first i will share that with you um there's only two options of what that could be but yeah i mean i i have that kind of energy where i can go for you know i can yeah i can go for a long time with something but when we look at the daily energy my daily energy runs out pretty quick and i think that's quite a saturn sort of a thing so you might find that you don't have your daily energy is very limited but you can stick at a game or your career or what you do for a very 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 long time okay so that's pretty exciting there for you if you've got Saturn in the first house. Let's have a think. Is there anything else? I mean, Saturn in the first house, another thing that that can do, or even Saturn aspect in the first house, it can make you slim as a person as well. It can make it so that it's hard for you to put on weight. And it can be that, you know, Saturn in the first house, it can impact physical health uh, in not so positive ways as well. It can be a source of weakness sickness chronic sickness okay um you know i mean you, you put you put ketu in there and and now you're baffling the doctors you know they don't know what kind of illness you have but at least i think with a saturnian thing here it can be diagnosed but it, it could be a chronic thing that you have but it's not bad because it sustains and preserves your life it'll keep you going for a long time physically so even though you might not have that big, powerful daily energy, you've got that long-term Saturnian energy and you can do so much with that. All right, so we are now going to take a look at Saturn in the second house. I'm just going to write here second house. And I'm going to put Saturn here. Okay, what kind of Saturn do we have here? Now, I'm not going to look at aspects. I'm just going to look at where Saturn's seated in the house. Keep it really nice and simple. So Saturn in the second house. I'm, I'm thinking of a person I know personally who it took her um, a really long time to get on the property ladder. She was seeing all her friends were getting on the property ladder and she wasn't and she was finding it really hard to save. She was finding it really hard just to get some money together and just even keep up with these friends. And I remember when I read her chart, I said to her, when it's your time to do that, I said to her that not only, because it's a very well-placed Saturn, okay? It was an exalted Saturn, so it's a very, very good Saturn that she had in the second house. But I said, when it's your time to do that, not only will you, um, I said to her, you'll, you'll, you'll buy it somewhere better and it'll be nicer and uh, you'll have it for a very long time. You'll, you'll do it better than the friends. It'll take you longer to get there, but when you do, and when you do put your foot on that property ladder, you're gonna do amazing. And that's exactly what happened. 
So Saturn in the second house, it might be difficult for you to save. It might be hard. You might be looking at your friends going, well, everyone else is doing well. I'm not. It's so hard. How, how does anyone save money in this world? You might feel that way, but then, and it's not that you're feeling that way. It's just that life is that way. You know, it's just hard. I totally understand. But you keep chipping away at your work, at your goal, at doing this. Even if all you can do is save like, I don't know, a couple of pounds per week or something where you open up that second savings account or whatever, but you keep your focus on creating assets for yourself. And when it comes time for you to do that, you will do it very, very well. Okay. Um, second house is also like originally created by Venus. This is a good placement for Saturn really even if you know the sign isn't the best it's okay this is this is still a strong saturnian placement i've seen it play out in the lives of, of people so saturn will financially extend the shelf life he will preserve you financially okay so even if times are tough even if let's say you're not saving but times are just tough you will find that Saturn will maintain a good baseline for you. Like you, you, you will always be able to keep it going, especially if you're doing good work, you know, you're a good person doing good work, you're honest, um, you're loving all the things that Saturn just really loves. You know, if, if you're doing all the right things, there's always going to be a baseline. Uh, you will financially be preserved and sustained. It, and it, look, the other thing is Saturn here, it could have been tough in your childhood as well. I know financially it could have been really, really tough, but you're doing the long game. You're doing a different game to other people and you're going to be prosperous. All right. So thank you so much. If you have Saturn in the second house, we're now going to take a look at Saturn in the third house. Third house. All right, so what is Saturn preserving here? This is quite interesting. Saturn could be preserving friendships. And some of these friendships, you might not like some of these. Um, this could be difficult. This could be like, yeah, this, this might not be something you like, actually. This could be friendships that uh, you know these people are not your people and yet these friendships are being sustained. So you could be encountering that sort of a, a situation where you're in friendships for longer than the use by date. Yeah, I'm liking this shelf life and use by date. It's kind of like expired friendships, but oh man, they're still there. I can't shake these people off or something like that. You might have that. Um, what else might you have? And by the way, I'm not looking at aspects or anything. I'm just looking at Saturn in the third house. Uh, so it could go like that. But there are, there are real benefits to having. And, and look, this could sustain friendships that you like as well. Okay, so it's not all bad. Um, you could have long standing issues possibly with um, siblings or this could be positive as well because it, it depends on what sign is here and, and a couple of other things. So this could be good as well where you have um, good relations, good strong relations with siblings that last. It can be like that. But it is Saturn here. So there could be, there could be some challenges in relationships um, for sure. And that's with peers, friends, siblings. So that is, that is a possibility, especially a sibling younger than you as well. Um, but there are some good things here. Saturn mentally can keep you um, engaged and going. You can have terrific concentration power here quite potentially. You can have the ability to concentrate uh, for a long time. That is a possibility because we do have the mind here you could even be if because we've got mercury as the house the thing that built the house i mean sports wise you could or hobbies wise you could do things that take a long time to master or um you know you're the marathon runner you're not the sprinter here with this placement possibly something like that 
But over time, this can be a very wonderful Saturn, actually, because Saturn does really, really well. Three, um, six, and eleven. Okay, so this is this is one of those brilliant, brilliant placements, and Saturn can really help you to build a network, build your own business, build a fantastic profile um, when it comes to you know who you are in society fame things like that 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 is that is possible here so you can build a really strong profile um, but it will take a long time okay so that's the only thing about Saturn it just takes time you just got to stick at the thing and with this I do think you've got the ability to focus and to concentrate and to stick at a game for a very long time. Thank you so much for joining me, Saturn in the third house. We're now gonna take a look at Saturn in the fourth house. Anyone got Saturn in the fourth house? Oh, this one, yeah, this is interesting. I'm not gonna look at aspects, I'm just gonna look at the Saturn placement. You might find that you live in the one place for a very long time. You don't move very frequently. Okay, so you might really want to move. You might, you know, just be a bit tired of where you live or a bit, oh gosh, I've been here for so long, when am I gonna move? You know, so it can be that Saturn in this place, the shelf life that he is preserving, he's preserving the shelf life of the place where you live. Um, he, you know, it could be your house or your apartment, wherever you live. Saturn is, you're going to stay there for a long time, potentially. I've seen that in the charts of um, a couple of people I'm thinking of who have this. They, they just never move. They're just there. They're just always in that same place. Um, so that's Saturn in the fourth house. The other thing is that your home might require a lot of work. Or you're always doing work on the house or you know upkeep of the house there's something about your house maybe that demands a lot of work from you or maybe you have a big lawn and you have to rake it all the time because there's always leaves or something along those lines but yeah Saturn in the fourth can be like that um, these are people as well who when they buy like a car a car they'll have the same car for like 30 years and they'll keep it in pretty good condition too like it's it's quite good so Saturn can really preserve and sustain your home, your homely comforts, um, where you live, you might not move very often. And it could be, and or it could be that the things you have require a lot of work or require a lot of servicing or something along those lines. Um, let's have a think as well about relationship with mother because mother is in here too, we can see mother here too, and Saturn here, I mean, there could be long-standing issues or um, maybe you don't see eye to eye with mother, that's possible. There could be some long-standing issues here with mother or um, there could also be a lot of discipline. Maybe you grew up with a very disciplined mother or there was something strict about upbringing is possible here. Um, yeah, it could be it could be one of those things but in terms of shelf life Saturn will extend the shelf life of your home and where you live thank you so much for joining we're going to take a look at Saturn in the fifth house all right so what is Saturn sustaining here this is quite interesting this I was thinking about this this morning actually when I was having breakfast and I thought if you have kids might be that your kids never leave the home. Um, that's a possibility. Uh, I don't know how true that is though. Someone will have to let me know. Um, but Saturn in the fifth. Saturn in the fifth, when it comes to your creativity, creative self-expression, you, um, oh, there's lots of things to say about this one, yeah. To so creative creativity, you can take on the big, long projects, you know, um, rather than so I, I was I was giving the examples earlier of physically like rather than um, run a sprint you'll run a marathon well here if you're a creative professional rather than you know just make a one-minute commercial 
you can make a one and a half hour film you know <laughs> and that's a, an example of that here um, creatively your creative projects can be huge they can be big and require a lot of concentration or a lot of effort a lot of time and effort a lot of work so Saturn can sustain your creative abilities Saturn as well fifth house is there's a lot of natural discipline here so you wouldn't be the kind of person who would um, you wouldn't go out you, you wouldn't get drunk you know how to have one glass of champagne and then stop you know there's a fifth house there's some champagne being poured in here potentially <laughs> um, so let's have a look what else do we have here Another thing it might preserve is uh, how long, and this one's kind of interesting, how long you are on your own for. Because this is the house of the one, you know, we've got the one here and the many up here. And um, so the one, this is, you might be on your own for longer. So you might have kids later you might date later you might yeah the dating scene might happen for you later in life and having kids might happen for you later in life as well um, Saturn is casting third aspect here into the seventh so that's also another thing there um, Saturn in this area it's interesting I'm doing some aspects here can also um, preserve your investments that your investments grow gradually and slowly over time as well. But yeah, there, I'm sure there's more to say. But thanks so much for stopping by. We're going to take a look at Saturn in the sixth house. All right, what do we have here? Yes, I thought about this this morning as well. This was one that popped into my head and that was um, you could end up in a long court case is a possibility um i don't wish that on anyone obviously but like i mean this is a winning saturn so don't worry this is a very powerful and winning saturn i mean this the the long court case could really work in your favor so there's no problem there um well i don't think there is i don't know i haven't seen your chart <laughs> but what i know is saturn in the sixth house this is one of those winning saturn placements right we've got uh, Saturn's very good here too. Do you know, I mean, Saturn does do pretty good here, but officially it's 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 these. Um, what else have we got here? What could Saturn? Oh, Saturn can really sustain you in competition. So you could. I'm just sort of thinking about chess masters and things like that. Like you can. This is a very strategic area, very strategic part of the. Of the chart um, so yeah this is quite interesting actually you can if you're competing you've got time on your side that is so funny it cut out when I said you've got time on your side and then the camera cut out uh, yeah you've got time on your side except for when the camera cuts out obviously yeah you've got time on your side so this is quite interesting because you can you can go for longer kind of thing than everyone else so when it, if there's a competition you're the last one standing you really are you have, you can go the distance when it comes to competing okay so all you have to do is just kind of keep living keep breathing you know just keep going just keep just stay in that game <laughs> you know it's kind of like so also, I'm also thinking about, you know, when you're in a car park and like some people, they do the whole, I'm going to drive around to get the spot. And then some people do that. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to get a spot. You know, it's, it's, there's a little bit of that going on here as well. But yeah, it's, it, you can, you got real staying power, strategic, um, chess, grandmaster, brilliant thinking, strategic power here. Um, it, it is a really terrific Saturn placement the other thing is that you can work harder than everyone else so Saturn will sustain your energy when it comes to work you will be able to work long hours hard um, and and really well all that kind of thing all right well thank you Saturn in the sixth house we're going to take a look at Saturn in the seventh house 
whoops okay seventh house Saturn will really extend the life of a relationship uh, so this is you know maybe maybe you're married maybe you're in a romantic relationship romantic partnership and sometimes this is good but sometimes this is not so good because sometimes you're in this relationship you're going why am I in this relationship I don't want to be in this relationship so a lot of people with Saturn in the seventh they're just like oh I can't, I can't stand this person and yet I'm with them you know it's like this is so this can be a tricky placement in terms of um, people don't get out of relationships that aren't suitable for them that can happen with the Saturn in the seventh equally I mean this can sustain a relationship this can be a really lovely relationship um, lovely planet in a relationship situation as well it can it can preserve and extend a marriage through the hardships through the ups and the downs so I have seen this play out in people's lives where they're just like I can't stand this person and yet I'm still with them and I don't I, I don't know how to get out I don't want to get out but I kind of do but I don't know but I, there's all this you know challenge can happen here um, equally though I've seen it do beautiful things where it sustains a relationship it preserves a relationship um, in beautiful ways you know this is the kind of like in sickness and in health um, in sickness and in health vow that people make to each other you know it's like Saturn can keep you going can keep the two of you together uh, it can be a very beautiful thing as well Saturn brings a lot of maturity um, you know you will learn spiritual maturity the, like of being in love what that really means you know it's it can be quite a sacred and beautiful thing um, if you can look past the perhaps superficial annoyances of someone maybe um, yeah makes a person a strong partner makes a person a loyal partner you'll be a loyal partner with this you yourself will be a loyal partner you yourself will know how to hang in there where others don't you wouldn't give up on relationships too easily so that can be both a good thing and a bad thing uh, and you yeah one who has this placement has to learn um, yeah, how do, how do you stay and when do you, when do you leave? You've got, you got to learn some of that here. And there's a sell-by date. There's like a, so that's the shelf life. Like if Saturn is preserving the relationship, and in many ways that Saturn is doing you a favor if it's a difficult relationship that you want to get out of. It's like, well, but you're paying the karma. So it's like just, just stay until it really does break down kind of thing tricky placement this one is quite hard is quite challenging um, don't suffer don't suffer unnecessarily that's not you know if you have to get out of something you have to get out of something do that but equally if you're in a relationship that is a vehicle for burning karma burn the karma you know um, you can do that what else do we have here we've got contracts we've got partnerships business partnerships as well we've got um, and yeah I've been watching all that dragons Den shark tank I keep talking about it um, I'm gonna do a video on it as well I want to look at I want to sit and look at all their charts and then do a video about that I think that could be quite fun and that'd be like a YouTube style video it wouldn't be um, a teaching style video uh, let's have a think here so contracts money yeah I mean Saturn can Saturn can land you a big deal here a big partnership a big investment a big um, you know and that's what these shark tank dragons den people and this is this is also eighth house stuff as well eighth house and seventh house are, are quite similar um, they've got a lot in common okay so these these are quite similar but this this can be a place where you land some investment money that keeps your business going over a long time as well 
So that's another way to, to look at that. I could talk more about Saturn in the seventh. There's a lot to say, but what I'll do is a good directional strength, good dick baller here. But again, I, I could keep going. Anyway, thanks so much for joining. We're going to take a look at Saturn in the eighth house. See what we've got going on here. Now this is the placement that that really kicked off this whole idea for me. This is this is the one. This is it. This is Saturn in the eighth house. This is what made me think that you add a little drop of preservative to your product and it extends the shelf life. It's sad. This is that concept is Saturn in the eighth house. This will uh, keep you alive for a long time. People with Saturn in the eighth house, they live for a long time. It, this can be challenging on your health as well. So it's incredible. What I discover as I study the stars and, and read charts for people and, and do all of this work, very often it's the very same star that's giving you all the problems, especially if it's a Vipritharaj yoga. Okay, that, that, that one star that's giving you problems is the star that's going to take you to the top and it's going to give you some of the best things of your life. Isn't that incredible? And that is the duality of this earth plane. It really is quite incredible. So this star could be providing some issues and problems. It could be providing some health challenges. That is a possibility. Um, but equally, it, it will sustain your life. It's the very same star that will keep you going, that will keep you alive for a really long time. What else do we have here? We've got Saturn in the eighth. This is in-laws. This is family. This is... Um, it's a little bit like the seventh and I did talk you can have a watch of the seventh if you want to as well I mean because this is partnership as well because we are looking at in-laws so this could sustain a marriage that, that isn't suitable um, this could keep you in a in a situation that maybe you don't you don't particularly want to be in but you have to be in it that's a possibility it, but it'll keep you going through that and you could the, the purpose of that could be to burn off the karma you're actually doing a good thing by by being in a a difficult uh relationship because you're you're burning off the karma so you, you actually do want to be in that relationship very difficult i tell you it's one of the most difficult things knowing when to leave a relationship um it's really hard and but if you're still in it, there's some reason. It will naturally, you know, if you, if you want to be out of a relationship, it will naturally, um, you'll naturally go your separate ways kind of thing. That'll become easy and obvious. What you're looking for is a sort of um, effortless quality to life. That is, if you're forcing then it's not the right thing. So look for the ease, look for the flow, look for the effortless way, and that'll be the right, the right way. I don't know if that siren is going to come up on the, on the audio. Um, this could also be other people's money. This could also be um, investment money that keeps the life of your business going as well. So this can be that kind of thing here too. As I say, it's quite similar to Saturn in the seventh. All right, well, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. We're going to take a look at how we're doing on time. We're okay. Ninth house. What is Saturn extending here? Okay, I'm not looking at aspects, just looking at Saturn sat in that house. And one of the things here is that Saturn can... Well, Saturn can do a couple of things here. Saturn can delay um, higher education. So let's say you do, you know, your bachelor's, you, you get that done. You do your high school, you do bachelor's degree, but then, oh, I really want to do a master's or a PhD. Saturn can, Saturn can really help you attain that. He, he can, but it could be that you do it later in life. There could be a delay to that. So you could be doing it later in life. Um, but Saturn will sustain you. Saturn will 
help you to get a PhD. It might take, might take you longer than other people. Okay, but there's some sustaining thing. So it's either Saturn's either going to delay, and I've seen this in the charts of really, really smart people. They're really super clever. But I'm pretty sure there was this one guy, he had Saturn here, and he actually didn't um, even finish high school. He ended up um, becoming, and this was really interesting, he ended up becoming a car mechanic. But I said to him, you're a car surgeon. And the reason, because I, I can't remember, he had Mars somewhere, but I remember he had Saturn in the ninth, and I, I said to him, you're a car surgeon, because he was brilliant. This, this is a genius person who really could have been a doctor, a brilliant medical doctor. That's what, because I read his chart and I was like, this is the chart of a surgeon. And it was later that I found out that he, um, yeah, c can repair cars, transform cars. You know, you give him a beat up car and he'll just sort it out better than anybody. And he said to me that his teachers at school said that he's, he's very brilliant, but if he doesn't apply himself, then he won't get his qualifications. And that's what he lacked. He lacked because of this Saturn placement. I can't remember what the sign, the sign probably wouldn't have been something that would have been helpful. Um, there were other things to look at in his chart as well. But what I can tell you is that, yeah, he didn't apply himself uh, with, because, of, because of this placement. He didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't able to do that. And what I could see was that I, well, I encouraged him. I said, look, if you want to go to university now, you, 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 your Saturn might help you because it just gave a delay to his life. He can do it later, you know, and Saturn in this placement will um, keep him going through the studies, keep him able to concentrate and focus and be there. But there was just a delay. So it could be that there's a delay to higher education to you building up your own authority. Yeah, this could, so how does this work in that context? You getting to a leadership position in your life, it might happen later. You becoming a dad could be delayed as well. So there's some delay here. But in terms of what shelf life does it preserve? This is the kind of thing where you can, intellectually, you can think, you can outthink people, kind of. You can go for longer. You can study for longer, but yeah, it just depends on other placements, what else is going on. Are you good at focusing? But with just this one placement, you, sh you can, okay? You can focus. You can focus and concentrate over extended periods of time and take in vast quantities of huge concepts. Intellectually, you could be a real, a real giant with this placement. It just does depend on a couple of other sort of things that I would like to see. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we're gonna take a look at Saturn in the 10th house. What's being preserved here? Oh, that is an odd tale that I've just done. There we go. What's being preserved here? Saturn in the 10th house. Your career, your career will be preserved. I'm just checking the time, we're okay. Uh, yeah, your career will be preserved. You can keep going. I often say that this is the person who, through excellent, excellent service, you get to the top, but it takes a long time. Not only does it take a long time, you will do every single job on your way up to the top. So this is like the person who starts in the mail room and ends up the CEO. And how do they get to be the CEO? You know, maybe they didn't do an MBA. Maybe they just did every single job brilliantly on their way up. You know, they, they didn't get the qualifications. Maybe they didn't even finish high school. It doesn't matter. They're going to the top. They will get there. It will take a long time, but they, they get there and but it's a slow burn so Saturn sustains you over your career and keeps you going it's the ultimate sort of keep going keep going keep going it's going to take forever but you will get there <laughs> you know it'll feel like it. it'll feel like oh it's taking forever 
but you just have to hang in there. It, Saturn preserves the shelf life of your career. So it could be that you could be in the kind of career where, and I felt like this in advertising actually, because like I, when, I, when my Saturn matured and I sort of looked at the people in the agency and everyone was really young and all of a sudden I felt old and I was like, whoa. And, but that, this kind of Saturn could, could you know, keep um, a person like, you could be, yeah, in a career where maybe everybody retires at a certain age, but you're still there or it, it sustains your, or yeah, you, wherever you are in your career, but everyone else is really young but you're, and you're the older person or some, something along those lines. It can do that as well. Because some, some people say, oh, you know, in your 50s and, and 60s, forget about getting such and such job. I, I think Saturn in the 10th, house people they I, I could imagine that Saturn preserves the shelf life of the career it's like you can keep going with this I would imagine um, yeah very interesting it's through excellence in service it's a good Saturn placement you can and it re can really take you to the top of of uh, whatever game you're in all right we're going to take a look at Saturn in the 11th house whoops Hang on, I can't even write 11th. There we go, house. And I'm not going to look at aspects. I'm just going to look at Saturn's placement here. What is this extending? This is extending. This could be a little bit like Saturn in the third. It could extend um, friendships that are not suitable for you. Possibly, uh, you know, relationships that are not suitable for you. It could sustain issues with a sibling equally your sibling oh I just thought about this this applies to Saturn in the third as well your sibling could sustain you because I'm now just thinking about someone's chart who I know who's got Saturn in this placement and yeah his sibling his older sibling sustained him uh, he didn't have a mother when he was growing up and it was the older sibling that kept him going so it could be that an older sibling sustains you quite literally uh, that is a possibility and it could be complicated it could be that you have issues with the sibling as well and yet they sustain you you see and that's what is complicated about a lot of these different placements it's that very same star that's causing the issue that's giving you some beautiful gift as well and that's what's difficult that's what's hard about life you know so it could be that certain friends, they, they, they're annoying or you don't even like them and, and yet they are enormously pivotal or helpful or they bring you some new opportunity or they sustain you financially or, and yeah, because we've got money here too. Um, so this Saturn can really sustain you financially. It can preserve your money. It can keep the money, the shelf life of the money. It can keep, yeah, it can keep things, things going. If you buy assets, you can, wow, they can profit over time. My goodness, you know, I've seen people who, yeah, they buy a house and, you know, they, 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 bought, they bought the house for like 10000 and now it's worth $2 million kind of thing. It's that, like this is that kind of satin. Um, so it's quite an incredible placement. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Saturn in the 12th. 12th house all right so we've got Saturn here what's Saturn preserving here this is an interesting placement I have to think about this one a little bit it is Jupiter because I was just thinking about Saturn in the 12th how Saturn keeps you going I was because so the exact example let me bring it up on my system it's the guy who started the Hilton Hotel chain. What is his name? I've got a Hilton. Let's look up. Can I type in Hilton and will it come up? No. I'm going to have to look up his name. Who started the Hilton Hotel? Conrad Hilton. Okay, let's bring it up. Oh, whoops. Conrad Hilton. I've got his chart. Yeah, Exalted Saturn. I knew it because this is so funny. I often have ideas about astrological placements. Oh, the battery's flashing. 
as I was saying, I often have ideas about astrological placements and I think I was watching something about the Hilton Hotel chain. I don't know, was it a documentary? I can't remember. I was watching something. Anyway, this idea came to me that hmm, he must have Saturn in the 12th house because his business is all about like other people. So this is a place of sleep and rest and his business is helping people sleep. Somehow this idea came into my head and so then I looked up his chart and I was like, wow, he does have Saturn in the 12th in D9. He's got Venus beautifully placed there in uh, the 12th. But I knew there'd be a Saturn in the 12th because it's like it's his business to help people sleep. So equally, it could be your business to help people relax. You could be a healer, you could be a light worker, you could be any of these kind of things. But what what is this preserving? Oh yeah, I did think about this yesterday. It was um, Saturn preserves your ability to perhaps meditate for a long time. Maybe you can meditate for longer than other people. Uh, that is quite a strong possibility here. It, it could also impact sleep and that maybe you get better sleep that like a sun in the 12th I could imagine find it hard to sleep and they do I'm pretty sure mm, I'm trying to think is it there's a famous case study I'm thinking and she's got Martha Stewart I'm pretty sure she's got I'm gonna have to look it up pretty sure she's got sun in the 12th am I right there is something keeping her up in that because she only sleeps four hours a night. Oh, no, she's got Rahu up there. Oh, I see, sun in the 10th. Okay. Um, yeah, Rahu in, the, Rahu in the 12th would keep you buzzing. But Saturn here, I mean, I, I could imagine maybe you might sleep for longer than other people. If you have Saturn in the 12th, if you could let me know because I'm looking at the shelf life. I'm looking specifically at what does it preserve? What does it sustain? What does Where does it keep you going? And I could imagine that um, this placement could help you. You could meditate for longer. You might be able to sleep for longer than other people as well. Intellectually as well, I think this is a little bit like Saturn in the ninth house. I think intellectually you guys would be absolute powerhouse people where you could uh, take in a lot of stuff and handle big concepts and like over a long period of time, these are the philosophers, these are the people who think really, <clears throat> they think deeply about everything and, and lots of things and yeah. So I could imagine that it, sustains you to think big think really big you could be quite the visionary with this as well I'd want to see Jupiter where Jupiter is seated and what that's doing but it's pretty incredible your ability to uh, comprehend you know, maybe intellectually you are attracted to like the, those scientific theory, the theory of everything or the concept of the all is one or, you know, uh, like you would like all of that. You, you are sustained to think about that. Whereas other people's concentration power, they might be like, oh, I'd rather watch a TV show, you know, whereas you'd be like, well, I'd rather, you know, <laughs> do something profound and huge and difficult and spiritual sacred yeah well that is all i have time for everyone i hope this has been uh, a fun segment for you to contemplate and ponder your own chart uh, in in more depth and this concept of preservation and saturn i think is really interesting so let me know how you get on in the comments below i'd love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time